week 7 lecture for e-commerce we have the systematic approach of building an e-commerce topic objectives for this week so the students are expected to identify the systematic approach of building an e-commerce site and identifies the system development life cycle of an e-commerce site. The e-commerce site building. We should include uh, new knowledge creation, focus on knowledge sharing, storage and refinement, the deliberate method of identifying, structuring, maintaining and exchanging the expertise and experience of employees within an organization. E-commerce site building. Management. Human resources. Site design. Telecommunication. Software architecture. Hardware architecture. In the past, the responsibility of the e-commerce website of a corporation reside with the IT engineers and programmers or web design and development staff. Today, the e-commerce criteria of an organization determines that the e-commerce initiatives of uh, resides with the true e-commerce manager and then we also have the human resources an e-commerce uh, hr includes the e-commerce techniques criteria for technology and resources tactics for online media inferencing with those departments to build and promote the e-commerce side of the business familiar with the duties and responsibilities of the IT, the website development, and the marketing department. In order to build a long-term partnership, an e-commerce website design must concentrate on the needs of your clients and display the payment process that should be made simple so that other obtaining sufficient details about your brand and its goods and services and your potential customer will be abandoned you. While browsing on the website, there should not get any frustration. Otherwise, they will go on the some other place. The most fundamental change, both in terms of technology and its implication for industry structure, has occurred the architecture of telecommunication networks. Telecommunication is the collection of technologies, facilities, networks, and applications that support the communication at a distance. The architecture in this context refers to the functional description of the general structure of the system as a whole and how the different parts of the system relates to each other. An e-commerce architecture is a plan for organizing an underlying infrastructure and applications of site. So the plan specifies the following. We have the information and data required to fulfill the business goals and visions, application modules that will deliver and manage the information and data, and then specific hardware and software on which the application modules will run, necessary security, scalability, reliability, which are required application, and then we have the human resources and procedures for implementing the architecture. If we say scalability, it identifies 
how big a system can grow in a various dimensions to provide more service. So it measured by the total number of users and the number of simultaneous users or transaction volume. The system development life cycle is a methodology for understanding the business objectives of any systems and designing an appropriate solution. It has five main phases which involve the system analysis and planning, system design, system construction, testing, implementation, and maintenance. The system development life cycle, the system analysis, and planning. So the business objectives that list the capabilities of the websites to be developed and identifying the time frame targets and resources, know the scope, and an e-commerce site. For system construction, we have to write the codes. So we have the so-called insourcing, which is an in-house development of applications and the outsource which pay for system development. The system constructions, we need to identify the databases, the designs, the navigations, and the hyperlinks. We have to consider the reusability or the likelihood, a segment of a source code which can be used again to add new functionalities with a slight or no modification. Interoperability, which connecting the people, the data, and the diverse system. How about the testing? It includes um, testing, implementation, and maintenance. The unit testing is a testing application software modules at a time. If we say integration testing it is a testing the combination of application modules acting in a concert usability testing is a testing the quality of the user's experience when interacting with the website and finally we have the acceptance testing which determine the Website which meet the original business objectives and the vision. How about the system architecture? There are two types of uh, architecture. So the business manager responsible for the website development, which need to learn the basic hardware and the software details. So, in e-commerce, a customer refers to the customer who requests the certain services and the server refers to the business application which provides the services. The system architecture refers to the arrangement of the software, machinery, and tasks in the information systems which is needed to achieve the specific functionality. If we say the total architecture, it is an e-commerce system architecture in which a web server responds to a web page's request and a database server provides the back-end storage of data. So the user interface operates on the client in a two-tiered client-server architecture wherein the database is stored on the server. So the logic of the business application can run on either the client of the server and the logic of user application will run either on the client or on the server. So this allows the other client to process or to run on a specific machines independently from the server processes. These are the references that you may read to know the lectures that we have discussed for this week. So, will you please visit the references included in this video? Thank you and good day.